What's happening guys? Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Hope you all had a great weekend. Today we're going to be talking about how you can quickly set up a project here in DaVinci Resolve so that you can create YouTube Shorts or maybe even want to create TikToks. You're going to do it the same way. So what we're going to do is create that vertical format, right? Kind of like this over here. You get a vertical video that looks like that. What's happening guys? YouTube Short here or TikTok. One way easy that you can do it, get some good quality, is just turn your DSLR sideways. Works out great. You're going to get some great quality or... You can always just use your phone here and turn it vertical. You're gonna get the perfect size video. But if you wanna learn how to get your project in DaVinci Resolve set up to make a YouTube short or a TikTok, you're gonna to wanna to check out this video because I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'll even give you a freebie template that you can download and install, although it's easy enough to create it yourself. All right, YouTube shorts, you've seen them. TikToks, you've seen it. And hey, let's be honest, sometimes I get wrapped up in those TikToks. They're pretty funny, right? And I'll just show you how you can drop a video in there too and some options that you have on how to scale it or get it to fit into that vertical format. Let's get into it. All right, so when we're in Resolve here, a couple things we need to keep in mind. The aspect ratio that we want to use is a 16 by nine ratio. So that's going to give us basically the full screen on your phone here. It's going to give you the full screen. So in order to do that, we want to set our timeline settings to be 1920 high by 1080 wide. So to do that, let's jump into Resolve here. I'm in the edit tab. So click on the edit tab here and we want to create a new timeline. So if I just come into my media pool, got my media pool open right here, I'm gonna right click, timelines, create new timeline. Go ahead and click on that. Now that'll bring up our uh, window here. Let's call this uh, YouTube short. And I'm gonna leave one, one video track and one audio track. So I'm gonna uncheck use project settings here because right now it's set up for a normal video that I would put on YouTube here. So we wanna come over to format right here and in timeline resolution, this is what we wanna change. We actually want this to be 1080, by 1920. So we want to switch these two numbers. So just go ahead and change it. You can just highlight it and punch it in 1080. And on this one, we can do 1920. And then your frame rate is going to match whatever your clips are. The particular clips I have in here are 29.97. So that's fine. And then the rest of these guys, you can just leave them as it is, unless you know that you need to change them. Then go ahead and change them. And then just go ahead and hit create. Now you can see in our viewer here, this is the ratio that we need for our phone and for TikTok, whether it's YouTube shorts, TikTok, whatever it is, this is the format that we need. So then you can just drag your clip, drop it in your timeline here. Gonna zoom in. I got two little clips here. Take a look at some new tools I got. Milwaukee tools. Come on, who uses them? Dude, these things are awesome. But let me just grab my headphones here so I can hear what's going on in this clip. Still working on this room out here. Got some drywall coming soon and, uh, or not drywall, yeah, drywall for up there. And uh, so it's just me talking about a little renovation we're doing upstairs. Now, you notice the video doesn't fit. So how do we make a video fit for this aspect ratio? Well, one, you can film it that way, right? You can flip your camera, film it like that. Or other options that you have. You can come and zoom in your clip. So I can zoom it in far enough so I don't have any, uh, you know, borders, black borders around the top or the bottom. You could do that. Yeah, so. But let's say maybe you want to see the whole video clip, right? So if I reset this, let's say I want to keep it this way so I can see the whole thing, but I'm into making shorts or TikToks or whatever. Keep in mind, this is going to be smaller, obviously, on the screen. You can't rotate it sideways. But if you wanted to just fill the background, here's what you could do. If you come on up to your effects library, go ahead and click on that. You want to come down to open effects and filters. Go ahead and scroll down towards the bottom and under the resolve stylized section, you have blanking fill. So you can grab this, drag it and drop it onto your clip. Now this gives you some cool options. It's going to automatically fill the rest of the, the frame for you with basically a duplicate of your video clip. So you can see it looks a little wonky here, but if I uh, click this and I come into my effects, you've got different options here. You can come into the fill extent section right here and you've got different options. Let's say I want to zoom the timeline. Let's say looking at my source here, I don't want the edges on the side. You can keep it if you like it, but let's say I don't want that. I'm just going to reduce the crop here. And then you can see my video extends all the way across. Now we do have a couple other options that could help this look a little bit better. So I can close up my source here and I can come down to fill appearance. You can blur the edges if you want. You also can blur the background more or less if you want. Let's say I want to blur it a little more like, like that. You can also fade the background a little bit, right? So if I just drag up the fade amount, you can see here it's fading to white. I might not want that. Let's say I want it to be darker. I can just click on the color here, change that to black or any other color that you want. It's up to you guys. And then you can fade that background as much as you want. And let's say maybe I want to add a drop shadow in here because I think it'll just help, you know, the video kind of stand out a little bit more. Come in a drop shadow, boom, crank that strength all the way up. 
You can adjust the blur however you need or whatever you like. And that's pretty much it. I can just go ahead and close my inspector. So now when we play through the video here, you can see the background's filled in. It's just a repeat of the video we're already looking at. Like me, some uh, power tools here. Who doesn't? Look at this. Check this out. Look some Milwaukee tools here. Who doesn't love Milwaukee tools? Like I said, come on, man. These things are awesome. So again, just another example. You can either drop that blanket fill on here, or in this case, maybe I'll just come to my inspector and just zoom in on this, right? Zoom in. And then as I play through the clip, all right, so we're just more zoomed in. It just depends on the kind of look that you're going for. So that is how you set up a timeline here in DaVinci Resolve to make either a YouTube short or to make a TikTok. A couple quick tips about YouTube shorts. They can be up to 60 seconds long, but you only have 60 seconds. You only got a minute to make your video. So keep that in mind when you're making your shorts. The other thing that you can do here for a YouTube short is you can also make it a square aspect ratio. So what we did now is a 16 by nine, but let's say you wanted to use that square ratio. Well, in that case, you would just make your timeline 1080 by 1080. And taking a look at this real quick, jumping back into Resolve. If I right click timelines, new timeline, I'm gonna call this YouTube short 1080 square. And I'm gonna uncheck use project settings. I'm gonna come over to format. And now I'm just gonna change this to be 1080 by 1080. So I can change this to 1080 by 1080. Again, adjust your frame rate as you need it. Hit create. Boom, there's your square uh, square video for a YouTube short. And again, just drag it down, drop it in. And now look, we have the same issue here that we've got the black bars on the top and the bottom. You can go ahead and either apply the blanking fill or just select your clip and zoom in. And you can do it that way. That works out just fine too. So in YouTube shorts, you can either do the full vertical if you want, or you can do a square video. Options up to you. Try it out, see which ones you guys like. Now, when it comes to the TikToks, you've got a few different time limits on your TikToks. So I wrote it down here just to make sure I don't forget. So we've got 15 seconds that you can make a video, 60 seconds, or up to three minutes long. So you've got options there too. Now with TikTok, as far as I know, it's just that full uh, you know, cell phone screen size, that 1920 by 1080 size that you're gonna use to make any of your TikTok videos. Now, if you're filming on your phone, then you're fine, you're good to go. You can just film it vertical and your video is gonna be all set up for you. But if you had some other footage, you wanna bring it into Resolve here, you wanna make a video for YouTube Shorts or for TikTok, this is how you would do it. And I'm actually gonna save this as a preset and uh, I'll leave a link in the description below in case you guys don't wanna create your own. You can just go ahead and grab this and I'll leave some instructions there on where to put it, but it's pretty much easy enough to create it yourself if you wanna do that too. All right, guys, that wraps up this Quick Tip Tuesday. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to download that file. If you learned just a little something in here, I mean, like even just a little something, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in a lot more Quick Tip Tuesdays. And we got lots of other great videos coming up soon. So be sure to subscribe, hit that bell. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.